Hey y'all, it's Trina with Redneck Rhapsody. We're so glad you came back to join us. We're on day six of 12 days of tipsy. No, no, this would be seven. I'm off because I'm like running behind. We're gonna get them pumped out to you before the new year though, so you can kinda get your mix on between now and then. Hopefully you have some time off from work and that this will work right into your schedule of having a weekend and then maybe a couple of days for the new year. What I want to share with you today is a little bit of Christmas because some places still have markdowns with it being December 26th if you're finding this video. I don't know when you'll find it, but it's still a tip for next year's buying. So, guys and girls, parents of adult children, if you have the issue that we do, that sometimes it's hard to find something for Santa to fill the stocking with, I'm just gonna tell you what one of our biggest hits have been. These are candy canes. And used to, they were filled with little chocolate pellets or bubble gum and things like that. Well, that's not the adult version. The adult version came from the liquor store and my kids fight over these, literally. And that would be my two married ones that are old enough to drink. My other one said, yeah, next year I'll have one of those candy canes. So he's looking forward to having um, an adult 21 year old stocking. But this is what they call 99 brand. I have just now kind of found this brand. You've seen me use it maybe in a couple of my other videos. I didn't know whether I would like it or not. So I'd never bought a big bottle of it. It is a 99 proof liqueur of different flavors. I have used it in several things that you've seen the videos of. So it is something that I do enjoy. And then this is Pinnacle Vodka and it's got whipped and raspberry citrus and I think a plain vodka in it. But those are really great gifts. The party bucket is a huge hit with my kids. Yes, I am not getting paid for advertisement from any of these liquor companies, I promise. Maybe one day, I have my fingers crossed, if any of you out there with 99 brand or Pinnacle Vodka, Rum Chata, anything I'm fixing to talk to you about, if y'all want to jump on here for a sponsorship, that'd be great. But that was part of my Christmas. Santa came to see me and fill my stocking too. This had 20 bottles of different flavors and some of it I got two of the flavors. And today I have chose to use the banana. I have chose to use rum chata. And I have chose to use a butterscotch schnapps. It's uh, the brand on Insta Kuiper. But you can find any of those at your local store. And then I'm also gonna use the coconut water. So not only did I talk to you about some Christmas goodies in your stockings and if you wanted to buy ahead, the kids' favorite thing to do with these, they've discovered, is we're lake people and we love beaches. So we go to the beach a lot and they take just an ice chest of water and they take the little packets to mix up like a thing of punch at a time. There's different brands. There's the private label brands, just whatever you would put in a bottle of water and they shake it up and put it in like their insulated cups. And then they take one of these and they put it in their cup with it. Now I will have to tell them they're used to using the vodka ones and those are 30 proof and these are 99. So I'll probably tell them to go have these on this and it'll last a little longer. But anyway, that's a little bit about the, the whole what you can do that just adds a little bit of fun to the holidays if you're interested in trying out different spirits and you don't want to buy a whole bottle because you may not like that flavor. So that's one way that I've kind of gotten into being able to find things that I do like. What I'm making for you today is a butternut monkey. Yes, we're going to dive into some serious flavors, but you're basically getting a shot glass full today. This could be served as a shot, or if you want it to sip on, you could serve it over ice, but we're gonna do it as a shot today. And what I'm gonna show you is, I'm putting a little bit of the drink in the saucer. I've already put my ingredients in my cup. So, I'm taking a shot glass, and I'm gonna rim it. Well, that's nice. 
I tried one of the liqueurs in it earlier, so I guess I had just a little bit left. Yeah, that's what happens when you make a mess here at my house. By the way, if I make just enough crazy sense to you to operate in your land and in your mindset and you love my little Rhapsodyville ponders, hit subscribe down below. Check the bell and that way you'll get a ding anytime I'm doing a video, whether it's making a wreath or mixing a drink or headed out on a trip across the country. I would love to share this crazy, insane thing that God's given me called life and help you share the experience where you don't ever regret sucking wind every morning when you wake up and be grateful to the one that gave it to you. So just hit the bell below. We'll have a good time together, I promise, because I live it and I try to live it to the fullest and to the best. I mean, it's just life and it isn't dress rehearsal, y'all. And we only get one shot at it. So make the most of it. And we're gonna make the most of it today with a butternut monkey. Butternut monkey. Can you say that really fast? After you drink one or two of these, I promise you, you'll be lucky if you can say it at all. So do not have this and plan on driving anywhere afterwards. I took coconut and I put it in our chopper and I chopped it up. I did not chop it up as fine as I wish I had chopped it up. So after it's been toasted, it may go back in the chopper again because it's not sticking very well because it's still pretty big chunks. I don't know if you can see that or not. But anyway, it's toasted coconut. I just threw it in the pan on the stove while ago and let it toast up a little bit. And I'm gonna pour my shot in here. And what it was is one ounce of coconut water just one ounce of coconut water. I measured it up in this. I did a half ounce of the 99 liqueur. I did a half ounce of rum chata and a half ounce of butterscotch schnapps. So, you now have a Razorback, well, we won't say Razorback. We'll say an Arkansas Redneck Rhapsody Southern Butternut Monkey. And all I can say is, the new year's almost here. It's gonna be 2020. Let's get focused and see what visions we have going for us and set some goals. And my goal right now is to come turn the camera off so I can enjoy my butternut monkey. Y'all have a blessed, happy day. And let's get ready to rock in this new year. And thanks for hanging out with Redneck Rhapsody. And don't forget, subscribe down, subscribe down below and hit the bell so you don't miss nothing. And the 12 days of tipsy before are all in a playlist. So if you need other drink ideas, cause this doesn't quite inspire you, hit that, check those out. I appreciate you and come back and hang out y'all.